Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Not YouTube channel. Today I am going to develop a filter list API, uh, or you can say search API using with Node.js and MongoDB. Uh, in this tutorial, I required uh, many dependencies packages. Uh, so I installed the env, express, mongoose, and node. Uh, in our main app.js, I imported uh, express uh, dependency and initialized express server. Our express server running on port 4000. And in here, I created a DBGS file to connect our DB. In this tutorial, I am going to use MongoDB. Uh, I created a MongoDB on Atlas online uh, DB. So in this function, uh, connect our online Atlas DB, MongoDB. And in app.js, I uh, call the DB connect function in here and pass my Atlas DB URL in .env file. And this is my uh, model I implemented for this uh, tutorial. Uh, okay, uh, in here I create a simple route to get all the uh, book uh, list in here. You can see in here, when we call the send the request, we get many, uh, res uh, all the uh, book list as a response. Okay, now let's uh, start at the uh, field option in this uh, endpoint. Okay, uh, in this tutorial, I am use uh, match aggregation function to filter data. Uh, I will add uh, this uh, documentation link in my video description. Uh, let's see what is uh, match aggregation. Match aggregation is uh, filters the document to pass only the document that match the specific condition to the next pipeline stage. So I will end of this video, I will tell you why I use this match uh, uh, aggregation instead of uh, find keyword. You can also filter the data, this find uh, query, uh, pass in the query. So let's start the code and I'm going to add aggregate here because we are going to aggregate net to filter data and array. Uh, I am going to get a user entered keyword in as a query. Keyword. Uh, my DB have uh, JSON object have uh, title of the uh, book. So I want to filter data uh, according to this uh, title, input title. So in here, I add dollar mark match and here I need page book name is title. So and title keyword. Okay, let's format the code and save the endpoint. Now let's first have a keyword. And I copy this book name here, give the pass and send request. Okay, now uh, our data is uh, filtered. Uh, only we have this name uh, 
one book have only this name so we have get but let's say we change this uh, capital a to simply let's send the uh, request now let's get empty array because that uh, we need to pass the exact keyword uh, we, we save in the database so some most of the time uh, end user don't know what is our database how to save our, our data uh, anything so we need to ignore this situation so we can add projects in here so i am going to add new reg expo and keyword and we didn't consider if this is simple or capital let's save the code and try again okay now this uh, our uh, keyword uh, doesn't matter we we can type anything let's say we don't pass the uh, all the uh, title name let's say we just pass things only yes it's all also working and sometimes uh, we want to add uh, more than uh, one uh, key uh, word uh, attribute to uh, filter data so let's say we uh, before that uh, let's say i am not uh, untick keyword and i am not passing keyword so send the request now it is uh, get all the list because we didn't pass uh, anything now uh, let's say we want to filter data uh, we have attribute uh, year i pass as this years and i cannot this is into integer If here I am uh, declare let another uh, variable match and it is empty. Leave and use. Uh, title in here and also i am going to copy this if statement and again paste it and yeah and pass this okay now instead pass this uh, value let's pass our declared variable match in here and format the code uh, now check the endpoint okay now okay ah, okay uh, now we need to add uh, regex in here because we type part of the title Okay. 
endpoint. To get a nothing, let's check why is that keyword things. Uh, okay, this is yeah, should be yeah. Require a keyword match the title and. Okay, uh, now everything is working and let's pass the year in here as a code now. Let's say this 1958. I'm not passing keyword, so I only get uh, 1958 books in here. Okay, that's book is get. Uh, let's say I change it 1959. Is there any different book? Let's see. Yeah, they have uh, another book, the Twin Drum. And it's working. Okay. Now I am going to add, uh, let's say user, now user can capable to uh, filter data using only this title. Let's say he, uh, end user want to uh, search uh, this book uh, using author name. Let's see, we in here instead of uh, book title name, le, uh, user pass as the uh, author name. <coughs> Get this uh, author name and pass this. So we didn't get any uh, response because uh, we didn't add that. So we need to add. Uh, that uh, attribute search also. Let's match. We can add, uh, use all keywords in here. Uh, you can see in the documentation. Uh, in here, we can pass many attribute search. So it is, should be array. Uh, and I am wrap this array and this is should be type uh, type and let's wrap that using brackets and copy that and paste it again and here instead of title we let we add author we need author filter uh, we need to capable of uh, filter using author's name as well as uh, save the code let's save the code and check and what okay uh, i add uh, author's name here let's send the call yeah, that's now it uh, as it is working. And let's say, okay, our uh, filter list API is uh, working fine and it is done. Uh, in next video, I hope to add uh, another new feature to this endpoint. I am going to add a uh, pagination uh, feature to this endpoint. So that's why I used aggregation pipeline to implement this build API. So I am going to add pagination uh, feature using aggregation uh, functions. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Thank you.